comes out of the Acts of the Apostles. I'll be reading the first chapter, uh, verses 1 through 8. The, friend, the former trustees have I made the old Theophilus of all that Jesus both to do and teach. Uh -huh. On the day in which he was taken up, yes. after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his possession by many infallible proofs being seen of them forty days and, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. <clears throat> and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said, Ye, ye have heard of me. For truly John baptized with water, yeah. but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times yeah. or the yeah. season which the Father hath in his power, but ye shall receive power. But you oh. shall receive power after oh. that the Holy yeah. Ghost yeah. has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and in Samaria, and the utmost parts of the earth. Amen. 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 Oh.
for the Lord is the Lord of our lives. And we are so grateful this morning to be in the house of worship. And we realize our God is up to something and we are right in the middle of it. But whatever you need from the Lord today, you can receive it. Because surely he is the Lord of my life. And to those who are streaming and from various portions of our state and country, thank God for you. And we are appreciating and celebrating the Lord for you and what you are in your endeavor. And for these who are in person, we are thankful and we give God all the glory and all the praise. That whatever you need, God's got it. Hallelujah. He has everything you need. As we look to the Lord, oh gracious God, our Father, you are the giver of all good and perfect gifts. We thank you this morning for your healing virtue. We thank you for your mighty power. We pray in favor upon your servants right now. Those that are here and those that are online, we are giving you all the glory and all the praise. Now look on those that are sick in the hospital, those that are not well, those that are unable to be here for various reasons or circumstances. For we know there is nothing too hard for you. You are able to deliver. We are praying for miracles. For we know what's on the tables of our hearts. And God, we are praying right now for the victory in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done. Continue to cover us with your blood. Continue to direct our path. Let none of this calamity come now I dwell in. And we'll ever be so careful to give you the glory and praise. In Jesus' name, thank God. Thank God. Amen.
Amen. And we're so grateful to see our good brother and friend. Amen. Amen. Brother Nundi. Amen. Amen. Minister, this young brother. Amen. We thank God for him. And the favor the woman has upon him and his life. Amen. And so we are grateful that he is visiting us on this morning. Truly, we just give God praise. We are thankful for all of you. Amen. And as we look to the Lord, amen, we want to reverence God in our uh, service. Amen. Amen. And so with you, that would be so kind, amen, to stand with us as we read the word of God in reverence to God's word. We want to go to Proverbs chapter 25. Amen. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 28. Hallelujah. We just have a little something after Thanksgiving. We felt that we uh, felt that it would be appropriate on today. Amen. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 28. And it says, Whosoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broke down without walls. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this word of encouragement and to uplift the believer in these trying times, in these situations of adversities that we have to endure. We thank you for your word. And we know through your word we have the victory. Through your word, we have strength and we have the fortitude to continue to fight this good fight of faith. And we pray that you would bless it and allow us to use it so that we can be that servant that thou will be pleased with. For we realize it's not choice word of elegant speech, but it's your anointing that destroys the yoke. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. And I thought we wanted to share on this morning. Hallelujah. Is the power of self-control. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We uh, uh, have to have uh, self-control. Amen. We've got to be able to uh, be temperate and, and being able to do it exactly as the Lord has instructed Amen. us to do. Amen. And even though city walls restricted the inhabitants, their movements, uh -huh, yet the people were happy uh -huh, to have them. Amen. It's a blessing to have walls to protect you and your family and your uh your situation so that you can be feel comfortable and safe. Without walls, they would have been vulnerable to the attacks of their enemies. Hallelujah. Amen. Self-control limits us, uh-huh, to be sure, but it is necessary and out of control life, church is uh, open to all sorts of enemy attacks. Amen. If there ever was a time for the believer to be in control, self-control, amen, these are the times that we need to be in control with what we do and how we do. Amen. Think of self-control as a wall for your defense. Uh-huh, and protection. Amen, amen. In the book of Galatians, Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23, it says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love. Uh-huh, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness and goodness and faithfulness, gentleness, Self-control, uh-huh, against such there is no law, amen. Self-control is part of, uh, 
one of the nine fruits of the Spirit. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And it is very necessary. It is very important that we as a believer have and keep ourselves under control. Amen. You can save lives. You can help direct and, and, uh, and the event and keeping things according to the move of God. Hallelujah. The Spirit produces. Uh -huh. the, and it also let us know that the fruit of the Spirit is the uh, uh, spontaneous work of the Holy Ghost in us. Yes. Amen. To have uh, uh, these virtues, these fruits, you've got to have the Spirit of God in you. Right. Right. Amen. And self-control is part of and is one of those virtues that is so valuable and so vital to do the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Spirit produces these character traits, which are found in the nature huh, of Christ. Amen. As a believer, you should be able to produce and have these fruits operating in your life. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And they are the byproducts of Jesus Christ. Control. And we can't obtain them by trying to just get them. Amen. We have to be uh, rooted into the word. We have to accept Christ as our personal Savior. And so self-control should be part of our uh, traits are part of our character as a believer. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. And if we want the fruit of the Spirit to grow in us, we must join our lives to His. In other words, we have to do and be in the Word of God. We have to live holy. We have to understand that the, the, uh, the byproducts of being a child of God is having self-control. Oh, hallelujah. And if we want the fruit, amen, to grow in us, we have to be rooted in the word of God through fasting and praying. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, we must know him, love him. We've got to remember him as well as imitate him. The result will be that we will fulfill the intended purpose huh, of the law. Hallelujah. To love God and man. Hallelujah. You cannot really be able to be an effective servant if you are not rooted in the word of God. Hallelujah. And a lot of our ministries have suffered uh, 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 blows because of the lack of self-control. Huh? The lack of temperance. Uh, uh, and you have to have it in order to be an effective soul winner for Christ. Oh, praise God. Amen. And so which of these qualities that you would want to have? Definitely you want to have self-control. Oh, bless the Lord. In the book of 2 Peter, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 through 7. Look what it says in 2 Peter 1 and 5. It says, but also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. Yes. Oh, you need to have virtue added to your faith and to virtue knowledge. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to know the word. You need to study the word. Hallelujah. And to knowledge, self-control. Huh? Amen. There is power uh, in self-control. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And then to uh, self-control, perseverance. And to perseverance, goodness. Oh, godliness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. Hallelujah. And to brotherly kindness, love which is God, which is charity, which is able to be able to reach people, uh, you've got to have the love of God in you. 
And so therefore, self-control is very important to the service and to the believer, especially when you are trying to win souls unto the kingdom. Hallelujah. For false teachers were saying that self-control or temperance is, is not needed. Hallelujah. Uh, because works do not help the believer anyway. Amen. And we all know that it, 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 it ain't what you do. Uh, it ain't works. You can be saved by works. Uh, uh, but it, it, it is a requirement for you. It goes along with your walk with the Lord. Uh, you just don't be a hearer of the word, but you have to be a doer. Praise God. It is true that works cannot save us. But it is absolutely false to think that they are unimportant. It is important to work for the Lord. Hallelujah. And whatever your hands find to do, you want to do it unto the Lord. Praise God. We are saved so that we can grow. Amen. To resemble Christ. Uh huh. And so that we can serve others. Amen. Our endeavor, our greatest asset. Amen. We want to be a blessing to others. We want to serve others. Hallelujah. In any way that is possible. Oh, praise God. We want to be able to do what God has called us to do. Amen. God wants to produce this character of active huh? love in us. Amen. This is why it's so important, church, that we follow and do what the Word of God requires of us. Amen. Not just because uh, this is the status quo where everybody is doing it. No. You are doing it because you have the love of God in you. Amen. And so it is imperative that we uh, maintain self-control. Hallelujah. Amen. And as we obey Christ, who guides us by his spirit, we will develop self-control, not only of food and drink, but also huh, of our emotions. Hallelujah. You have to maintain self-control. Here in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, oh, praise God. It says in 1 Corinthians 9, 27, it said, but I huh, discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest when I have preached to others, I myself become disqualified. Huh? Other translation might say a castaway. Oh, praise God. But when Paul said he might be declared unfit, in order to stand aside, he did not mean he could not lose his salvation. Oh, but rather that he could lose his privilege. Amen. To telling others uh, about Christ. See, when you get out of control, you cannot in, uh, you can't help somebody, amen, to, to, to come to the Lord or even in the situation that they're in. You have to be moved by the power of God. When God directs your path, you are under control. Hallelujah. When God gives you an assignment and you fulfill his assignment, you are under the control of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And it says here, it is easy to tell others how to live. Uh-huh. And then not to take our own advice. Amen. There are plenty that tell folk what they need to do, but they don't do it. Uh-huh. They're not under control. Uh, they, they profess it with their lips, but their heart is far from it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. We must be careful today, church. Beloved, we must be careful, huh, that to practice what we preach. If we are professing to be holy, we got to live holy. And then we have to be able to, to encourage others to come to Christ. People really don't want to hear nothing about the Lord when your life is ragged. Huh? If you are out of control, if you can't keep your mouth, 
be under control of our thoughts. Huh? Don't you know you can go to hell thinking wrong, but you never said nothing. You were just sitting there, huh, minding your own business. Praise the Lord. But if it is not according to God's will, because see, he reads your mind. He knows what you're going to do before you do it. Huh? He knows your thoughts. Uh, he knows your intents. Praise God. Hallelujah. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 and 5. Hallelujah. Amen. The power of self-control. Uh, it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, beginning with verse 4. It says, for the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, yes. casting down imagine, arguments and every high thing that exalts itself uh, against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Amen. We have to use the weapons that God has given us to fight this warfare. Yes. This spiritual warfare. We're not fighting flesh and blood. We're not fighting people. Huh? Amen. We, what we are doing, we're fighting against the wickedness, evilness in high places. Hallelujah. And he said his weapon of this warfare is not carnal. It ain't a, a 357 Magnum. It is not a knife or, or anything of this name. Huh? Well, it's not carnal, but mighty but in God for pulling down the stronghold. Amen. To defeat the devil. Amen. You've got to stay under control. You've got to continue to fast and pray and believe God for the deliverance. Casting down arguments. Huh? And every high thing exalts itself against the knowledge of God. The enemy always got some kind of idea. This is the way you ought to do it. This is what you need to do. But according to the word, if you want the results of the Bible, we have to do the Bible to get the results. Hallelujah. And we, like Paul, are merely weak humans. But we don't need to use human plans and methods to win our battles. Hallelujah. Because the Lord said the battle is not yours. It's his. When you give it to the Lord, the Lord will fight your battles. Hallelujah. God's mighty weapons are available to us as we fight against Satan's stronghold. Amen. The devil is going to keep coming. Huh? We're young. How much you fast and pray? How much you stay in Bible study? Huh? How much you come to Sunday school? Huh? The enemy is always present. He's going to continue to keep coming. Uh -huh. But you've got to be under the blood of Jesus. You stay in the word. You can defeat the stronghold that the enemy is bringing up. Hallelujah. The Christians must choose whose method to use. Praise the Lord. God's or man. But Paul assures us that God is mighty weapon, which is prayer. Oh, this is a weapon, church, that we have to use. Huh? Do we have to pray? He said he spoke a parable unto this why that men ought to always pray and not to faint. Hallelujah. This is one of God's mighty weapons. Amen. Where you can pull down strongholds. You can pull down bad habits. Hallelujah. Not only with prayer, but faith. Uh, it is impossible to please God without faith. Hallelujah. Another weapon is hope. Huh? You've got to have great hope. Huh? Yeah? And then when you have that hope in Christ, it keeps your expectations high. Hallelujah. It keeps you ready, amen, to run and to do and be willing to hear from the Lord. Another weapon that God is using to pull down these strongholds, amen, is love. Hallelujah. People can talk love. People can say that they love you. Huh? Uh, but love is just not a talk. It's not just a word. Hallelujah. You've got to be, amen, under the blood of Jesus. 
you have to be committed to the Lord. Amen. And that you will be willing to go out of your way. Amen. To help a, an unbeliever to become a believer. God's word is one of the powerful, amen, weapons that we can use is the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And this, it tells us that the Holy Spirit are powerful and it is effective. When you use the word of God, when you pray and fast, when you consistently seek in him, amen, God will fight your battle. Amen. He will deliver you. The Christians must choose whose method that they really want to use. Hallelujah. Amen. And these weapons can break down, amen, proud human argument. People that don't want to accept Christ. Amen. That really don't have a, a, a love for God. Hallelujah. But you have to be consistent in your prayer. Amen. Even if I can't see it, even if it like it ain't moving in the way I want it, I'm going to keep believing God for the victory. Hallelujah. And when we are dealing with the proud that keeps people from the relationship with Christ, hallelujah, we must be tempted huh, to use our own methods. And that method is to keep them up before the Lord. Uh, I'm going to keep praying for deliverance. Amen. I'm going to keep praying for healing. I'm going to keep praying for, for the victory in Christ. Because why? It's because God is able to do it. Amen. And so when you are doing the work of the Lord, when you are trying to build the kingdom of God, we have to stay under control. Hallelujah. And let the word of God, let God direct our path. Hallelujah. Amen. We are so grateful for the barriers that the enemy has brought up, but the word of God gives us the victory and the power. Amen. To defeat the enemy. As you stand to your feet this morning, we are grateful for the love of God. Amen. We thank God for his goodness. Amen. We want to pray for you right now. Father God, we thank you for your servants. Hallelujah. Help us with the power of self-control to be led at you, to be not allow the enemy to tempt us to stray from your direction. We ask that you forgive sin and shame on this day. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. For those that desire prayer, I want to ask Brother Doug Williams to come. I want to pray for him. Amen. Amen. I want to pray for Brother Williams. Amen. Hallelujah. And we're so grateful for those who are online. We want you to know that God is in control. And we pray, oh God, for every servant that is online today that you minister to their needs, that you direct their path, and whatever you do, 